it's it's them. It's International Peace Corporation. It's them again. Our besties. I would like some popcorn or chips. Ooh, the finest hand-picked, well-tied spring meets the chewiest brown sugar bobo on the block. Bursting with L-carnitine, flavor, and health. Immortals delight the drink of divine. Dude, we got hit with an ad. It's not even a Twitch ad. Newsflash. The IPC will soon be dispatching representatives to multiple worlds. The effort is part of a raft of new measures to encourage trade and strengthen friendship throughout the cosmos. Why are there real the Genius people Society's here? newest masterpiece, Simulated Universe World 8, is about to go live. Madam Herta has revealed that the project is about to enter the launch phase. For further details, don't forget to tune in to our program's follow up reporting. Renowned songstress Robin has received an invitation to perform at Penacone's Charmony Festival. Why are there real people here? Get me out of here! This is his, his tomb! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Recent days, the Sienjo Lofu has reported an uptick in supernatural activity. Kayla's with evil shaking. spirits wreaking havoc across multiple locations, the Ten Lords Commission has assured citizens that it is thoroughly investigating all incidents. This program will be bringing you the latest as the story unfolds. For more details, stay tuned for the upcoming Haunted Sienjo special it's program. It's Wuang Hill, guys. Beautiful creature. Bless you for choosing to dally here. Allow me to ask you, as a fellow entity of the universe, are you acquainted with the goddess Sidrilla? <laughs> Another anomaly in this shining universe. Since you do not understand the beauty, I will have to show you in a way that only a knight can. The Duke has joined the Knights of Pavonia. The beauty is eternal. Hey, Whoa. we made it. What's up, guys? We're the haunted place in the Lulfu. Follow and share. Or else I'm gonna... I think I just want to do something. It's like TikTok girl. When they're, when they're about to do something stupid. <laughs> Yo, what's up? You're finally here. Captain Hohua, should we start the ghost talk now? Oh, I like your tail. Oh! We play by our own rules. Oh! That's a pretty creepy boss. Is that a new boss? Is that gonna be a new boss? It's kind of creepy. I'm a bit scared of that thing. But Ho Ho looks really cute. And I like her. I like her tail a lot. <laughs> her tail is very cute. And very fluffy. She has a huge little bell. Okay, chat. What did you what did you get from that trailer? Because what I mostly got from it is that Gwenifen takes her stream to a haunted place. Which seems pretty on brand for her. She was just like, follow and share. It's Spooky Patch. Yeah, it feels like Spooky Patch. It's gonna be like, comedy horror, I guess?
Darkness falls across the delve. As ghost fires dance, the clock strikes twelve. Well, whether or not your world has a midnight hour, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Inner Astral Peace Media's Haunted Sienjo special program. I'm your ghostly host with the most. Oh. I like God. Albert's outfit. <laughs> For today's episode, we've invited two special guests. Together, we'll be introducing you to the Sienjo's weirdest and most wonderful. Hi, everyone. I'm the Galactic Baseballer. <laughs> Speaking of weird and wonderful. <laughs> hey guys, Grey Knife in here. It's an honor to be a guest on the 1.5 special program. Mm. Oh, uh, uh, she's so much energy. I mean, Albert's Haunted Sienjo special program. <laughs> huh? They're very cute. Albert, did you unlock a new skin? <laughs> That's one way of putting it. <laughs> Naturally, my an anchor skin. of my standing needs to have the best wardrobe department in town. Now, as our audience will be well aware, the Sienjo is constantly roaming the universe. Mm -hmm. And the universe is filled with the unknown. Right, because it it's a It should come as no surprise then that the Lafu has had its fair share of strange encounters. And speaking of strange, the trailer we just witnessed gave us a sneak peek into a place of mystery, evil, and ghost fire. Fixtral Garden. Mm. I thought a Fixtral garden? garden was just some old abandoned place on the Law Fu. Why is it suddenly getting so much attention? Allow me to explain. A while back, the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace was shattered, and the Helio by trapped inside were able to escape. Know where they went to hide? Mm, yep. Fixtral Garden. I see. Wait. What's a heliobi? I'm just watching People Albert's animation. The They're are very the cute. Result of accumulated grievances. They can possess people, deceive the senses, affect the soul, and usurp the flesh. Those possessed exhibit bizarre behavior and restless thoughts. It's a truly frightening spectacle. But the creation furnace wasn't exactly fragile. How could it just break? Rumor has it the Artisanship Commission's surveillance recorded a gray-haired figure in dark clothing. Huh. Gray hair, dark clothing? Did they have a baseball bat? Who's hey, yeah. don't <laughs> turn this on me. <laughs> the destruction of the creation furnace was a direct result of the Stellaron disaster. Right, oh. over. <sighs> really? Just tell us more about Fixtral Garden. <clears throat> Fixtral Garden? has always been overflowing with yin energy, and the garden itself is littered with suppression towers, stone monoliths, and ancient trees. It's creepy enough in the day, but when the sun goes down, things get a whole lot creepier. The garden is layered and deceptive, and it's easy to lose your bearings. So foggy. Since the Heliobi moved in, it's probably the most dangerous place on the Lafu. Heliobi are experts when it comes to possession, and even the most experienced Wraith Wardens and Arumaton Spectral Envoys can become their victims. When you can't tell your friend from your enemy, things tend to go south fast. If, if creepy, if why hot? Wasn't enough, they say that Mara-stricken members of the Ten Lords Commission also wander the garden. Oh. A word of advice? Keep your wits about you. <laughs> Sounds like great streaming material to me. I bet I could become the CN Joe's number one streamer in no time. <laughs> I'm surprised Funny she isn't already. Mention, to most people, Fixtral Garden was always a strange and desolate place that rarely got much attention. But now that stories are beginning to circulate, the situation has changed. Recently, the Sienjo's online forums have been filling up with posts describing supernatural phenomena in Fixtral Garden. Everything from self-playing violins to mm -hmm. the wailing cries of vengeful ghosts. Mm -hmm. Unsurprisingly, Sienjo fans of the supernatural 
are loving every second. Uh, in my experience, forums aren't exactly the most reliable news sources. Oh, True. Who cares if some of it's false? This is a hype train I can't afford to miss. <laughs> Trailblazer, <laughs> what do you think? Want to start a ghost hunting squad with me? <sighs> Good Fire breathing, like quiet this. band performances, headstands, balancing acts, spear deflection, sword juggling, and boulder smashing weren't enough, huh? I was now ready to support you. Hunting. Uh, who said I was an expert? I just have a lot of transferable skills. That's all. <laughs> well, you better hope so. <laughs> Streamers trying which, to market themselves the be like. brand <laughs> new version 1.5 Trailblaze Continuance, a foxy and tale of the haunted. The ghost hunting squad will be responsible for chasing down Helio by purging evil, resolving crises, and protecting the Sienjo. A foxy and tale of the haunted is divided into five chapters and starts off with the ghost hunting squad facing an unusual danger and Sojourner's ghastly reverie. Once this chapter is complete, the story continues to unfold with twins, percipient, sword essence, and foxy and dream. Five chapters, huh? We'll be topping Sienjo internet searches in no time! <laughs> <laughs> I knew we were on the same wavelength. In addition to Trailblaze Continuance, and together with Miss Gwen Knifen, Trailblazers will also be facing fixtural garden dangers in both Lawfu Urban Legends and Ghost Hunting Squad missions. <laughs> cool! <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot Good to mention, has a lot of content during the Ghost Hunting cover. Squad's fictional exploration, Trailblazers can jointly manage Gwen Knife and Socials. Posting threads is a great way to create discussion <laughs> amongst Zienjo netizens and fans of the supernatural. New management <laughs> game, guys! We're gonna get no the whole way. Zienjo talking! Seriously, no this is once in a lifetime material. We gotta plug it for everything it's got. I'm talking daily this updates, community insane. engagement, all that good stuff. We're once you get enough agents. momentum, <laughs> the fan base grows itself. <laughs> social media stardom is finally on no, the horizon. No, we're social oh, media you know, manager. There's always room for creative talents no. at the IBM. And I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I've introduced a lot of big names in the company. The Albert stamp of approval goes we'll a long way. We'll get paid way. in self-modeling resin. Albert. I'm afraid I'm too invested in the CN Joe for now, though. And a free light Good cone. To know there's an offer on the table. Well, it's cool. I get it. <laughs> but uh, here's my card if you ever want to collab. Just give me a shout. Deal. Now, where were we? Oh, socials. Increasing your account socials. popularity level allows you to unlock more stories and events. Your ghost hunting skills will only improve as you unlock more suppression towers and take on new challenges. Not to mention, by completing limited time missions, oh. Trailblazers can obtain the event light cone, hey, over here. What do you think, Guilin? Is that abundance? Let's give it up for Guilin's generosity. Woo! <sighs> Still, I hope the ghost hunting squad is up to the job. Sounds like we'll have a lot on our plate. Don't worry. You might just be getting a helping hand. I know, it's another good I feel like, like what she can't horses, use. The Ten Lords Commission. They're the judges of the Mara Struck, the arbiters of life and death. When it comes to warding off evil and expelling the supernatural, nobody does it like the Ten Lords. But despite their reputation, they're shrouded in a certain amount of mystery. Whoa! The Ten Lords are getting involved? Oh. Just when I thought our stream couldn't get any crazier! Well, before you get too excited, <laughs> when I've been getting the Ten Lords getting to know your assignee. The Ten Lords have dispatched a trainee judge to assist the ghost hunting squad in investigating the fixtural garden situation. Trainee, huh? Uh, as long as they're confident in their abilities. Yeah, about that. All right, character kit previews. <laughs> she just slapped them with her flag. <laughs> that was so cute. What was a wind-type character following the path of abundance? Oh, that's such a cute. Oh, I mean, that's such a cool. Ten Lords oh. Commission. Huh? Wait, is her tail on fire? Those are the spookiest looking flames I've ever seen. Yeah, does being on fire help with ghost hunting? What are you two whispering about? Uh, nothing. Just beginning to doubt her credentials. How did Yo. this little girl become a judge in the first place? Good question. 
<laughs> Hua Hua is essentially a magnet for evil. <laughs> Something that comes in super handy for the ten year commission. <laughs> they couldn't believe what, what, their luck. What, what. Sounds qualified. Of course. Talent comes in all shapes and sizes. The key. Okay, is now to bring I'm not sure if it's actually Huo Huo or like Huo Huo. To her, Huo Huo's unique skill hua, set hua. isn't exactly a blessing. Hua, hua? People say she has the worst luck on the CN show. Always running into ghosts, tripping over thin air. You know the deal. Well. If I spent my hua. life running into ghosts, or I'd hua probably hua. fall over a lot too. I remember one of my Gwailings had the same problem. Lucky for her, one of my sponsors sells this amazing remedy that can. And we're getting sidetracked. <laughs> anyway, Not the sponsor plug I when you I finish. the story. Bad luck, evil attraction, call it what you like. It all started from a single unfortunate event. Oh? When Hua Hua was a little younger. Her tail was possessed by a monstrous long life species. Whoa. Any guesses? Yeah. Your tail can be possessed if you're a fox. That very same day, the Ten Lords Commission decided to seal the monster in its hiding place and took Hua Hua under their wing. Ah, I get it. So Hua Hua is kind of like a, a Ten Lords guinea pig. <laughs> I think her he tail is a Hua Hua. That may have been hmm. part of it. However, the Ten Lords realized that Hua Hua had the ability to pacify the monster. Naturally, anyone able to wield the power of a Heliobus was seen as a potential weapon of war. But she's just a baby! She's just How a baby! How could a scared little foxy and girl ever take on the responsibilities of the Ten Lords? Oh, Hua Hua's well aware she just scared a cat. That's why she watches so many horror Mercia to train her courage. <laughs> I guess you could call that fighting fear with fear. <laughs> I'm here all week, y'all. If that actually worked, I'd have joined the Stellaron Hunters already. Practicality aside, Hua Hua's willingness to confront her shortcomings is a true sign of professionalism. Not to mention, having spent more than a few years in the company of a Heliobus, she's had to develop her own tricks for banishing evil. Mm -hmm. Hua Hua's basic attack Banner Stormcaller can deal wind damage to a single target. Uh, kind of looks like her tail is the one <laughs> making the decisions. <clears throat> when using her skill, Talisman Protection, Hua Hua bravely brandishes her banner, restoring HP to a single ally and adjacent teammates. Okay. Are you sure she's not trying to surrender? <clears throat> Hua Hua's ultimate tail spiritual domination can regenerate allies' energy and increase their attack. Well, so that's what a Heliobus looks like. No wonder it took the Ten Lords Commission to seal it away. When under the influence of her Generate tail, energy Hua Hua and has a few attack? special talents. After using her skill, she receives Sacrifice Life. Sacrifice Life can grant allies a set amount of HP restoration at the beginning of their respective turns or when they use their ultimate. Nice! Not bad for a trainee, huh? This ghost hunting squad's gonna kick butt! Mm, that's not all. Hua Hua's technique, Fiend Impeachment of Evil, sends her enemies into a horror-struck state and scatters them in all directions. When attacking a horror-struck enemy, there's a chance of reducing their attack. She oh, harmony scaring your away your enemies. <laughs> nice moves, Hua Hua. Still not getting judged. Abundance with hey, harmony. Easy on the training. Alt. <laughs> of course, when you're dealing with Helioba, the more judges, the better. That's why the Ten Lords appointed a seasoned veteran to bring up the rear. I'm talking about none other than Hanya. Oh. Oh, toes. Toast for free. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she looks so badass, though. And scary. Hanya is a netherworld judge of the Ten Lords Commission. She's a physical type <gasps> it's character. Susie you. Following the path of harmony. Ah, I remember that face. Uh, I saw her on the Return to Darkness light cone. Mm, correct mundo. <laughs> Rumor has it, she's one of two sisters dedicated to the work of the Ten Lords. She's responsible for predicting karmic offenses and recording corresponding judgments. Or to be more precise, Hanya reads the karmic sins of criminals and uses her oracle brush to record their punishments. Ooh. She's good at her job and takes it super seriously. 
And the Ten Lords Commission, her reputation precedes her. <gasps> Sounds like a Ten Lord celebrity. She put in the hours, that's for sure. In order to determine their sins, Hanya reads the New memories Harmony. of the Mara struck in the form of dreams. Cool. Sounds like our ghost hunting squad just found its guiding light. Uh, no offense, Hua Hua, but those sound like credentials. <laughs> hey, <laughs> enough with the Hua Hua bullying. But speaking of credentials, it's time to see what Hanya can do on the battlefield. During her basic attack, Hanya uses her Oracle Brush to assault the enemy, dealing physical damage to a single target. Okay. She really lives by the pen is mightier than the sword, huh? <laughs> she looks so scary um, in her animation, but her card. art makes her look sleepy. In addition to dealing physical damage to <laughs> a single target, Hanya's skills Samsara Lot can inflict them with a burdened state. Ooh, is that Hanya's way of marking enemies prior to sentencing? Pretty much. Allies inflict increased damage on enemies marked with burden. And if that wasn't enough, after an ally launches a set amount of attacks on an enemy marked with burden, they recover a skill point. When the oh. going gets tough, Hanya's got your buff. That's fine. Hanya's fun. ultimate, Ten Lords Decree, all shall obey can increase speed and attack for a single ally. When Hanya uses her oh. technique during exploration, she immediately launches an attack and inflicts burden on a random enemy. When the enemy won't budge, call in the judge. All that aside, Dude, her design in version 1.5, so... the new wow. shadow, Shape of Perdition, will appear within the fictional garden map on the Sienjo Lafu. Complete the challenge to obtain new physical ascension materials. Within the same map, we'll also be welcoming Cavern of Corrosion, Path of Darkness. Complete the challenge to oh. obtain two brand new cavern relics. Oh, new relics! Prisoner in deep confinement and Grand Duke incinerated to ashes. <laughs> Woo. Well, Please tell me they are what we've been waiting for. <laughs> to the final sections of our Haunted Sien Joe special program. Huh? Already? Mm, this program isn't nearly haunted enough for my liking. Where are all the they ghost stories? They didn't show the details. You know, beautiful foxy and spirits knocking on They'll your door at midnight. probably tweet it soon. That kind of thing. I think you're thinking of a different program. Moving swiftly on to some exciting updates. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, y'all, and don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after the following commercials. <laughs> okay. Hey, you there. Sick and tired of the daily grind? Had enough of running errands? Do you long for rapturous applause and cheering Wait, what's voices? he advertising? How about increased self-confidence and a sense of pride? And do we have an opportunity for you? The Boulder Town Martial Exhibition is now open for registration. Put yourself to the test by challenging the best. Dude, the this advert's gonna be a while. Be hosted by Scott Business Alliance. Where's Argenti? <laughs> Where, where's Argenti? Brand new experience. This event will be adopting a simultaneous exhibition format. Yeah, they might be rushing for the uh, for the Genshin Enter, stream. I am the ultimate fighter. To register your name, could you be Boulder Town's new fighting star? Yeah, so Huo Huo is abundance. A stellar Shadow Seeker recruitment announcement. March 7th, member of the Nameless. With some Huo harmony utilities. Able to restore her photographs to the way she remembers them. Which is the images amazing. In question, <laughs> inexplicably damaged. I lost all kinds of cool pictures. Beautiful scenery, strange encounters, you name it. There's a big reward for anyone that can help me restore the images. Actions speak louder than words. Miss March's memories are in your hands. Oh, they're showing us Madame the events. Of the Genius Society they're speed running the events. To launch unlimited beta testing for the newly developed simulated universe world eight. Participants will have their costs covered and progress saved. Oh, for really? World in eight order to time. Participate in this offline confidential beta test. Please head to the most mysterious place in the universe. So, office. new Ten ornaments will be rewarded with a brand new Pentagoni Land of the Dreams and Ooh. permit frontline Lamaze planer ornaments. What are you waiting for? Pentacoli. Get testing. Okay, we get to fight Yanchi. <laughs> the planer Fisher and Garden of Plenty events are about to begin. 
is the version you know and love. Let the computer do the hard work for three minutes and get your hands on double rewards together. <laughs> get the computer One to do the hard work. One the essence of beauty to appreciate the depth of chivalry. <laughs> yes, it is I, your beloved avian servant. Welcome to Inner Astral Peace Media's second special the program. The monocle. Legend of Cosmic Beauty. In today's program, we will be introducing a new friend of the universe. <laughs> Yo, how's my favorite audience doing? <laughs> Great to see you. I We've love already been art. gone, and Albert here has already had another wardrobe change. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't get the memo, but we're about to be discussing a night of impeccable elegance. <laughs> it's time to get fancy. So, without further ado, allow me to introduce a member of the Knights of Beauty! Come on. Ah, Genti! Let's see this extra man. Is that his old animation? Argenti is a physical type character following the path of erudition. So fancy. As a devoted admirer of Adrilla the Beauty, Argenti spends his life roaming the universe and extolling their name. Ah, uh -huh. so the simulated universe occurrences Curio, Robe of the Beauty, and Knights of Beauty to the rescue. They're obviously related to the knights, right? Running into the Knights of Beauty while testing the simulated universe is always a blessing. Those guys are a lifeline in a tight spot. Especially when I can't get enough path resonance. <laughs> Treating people with courtesy, helping others as a matter of principle, and offering sincere praise to all things in the universe. Mm -hmm. Such is the code of conduct that our genty lives by. In the simulated universe, not every helping hand is benevolent, but those provided by the knights are beyond question. May the names of our genty and the beauty be blessed for all eternity. How many roses uh, does he have which, hidden Albert, in his robes? What was that planar fissure and garden of plenty commercial all about? Well, Argenti magnanimously answered our call and agreed to appear in our commercial as a corporate ambassador. Oh, and I know they forgot our end wow. of the bargain. <clears throat> He's a model. The IPM acknowledges that Idrilla the Beauty is the most peerless beauty of them all. <sighs> Albert, what did you get yourself into now? No need to worry. Just a little two-way back scratching. Um, okay. Kind of TMI. But I what? still don't really understand the concept of the beauty. <laughs> Allow me to explain. Adrilla's beauty permeates everything. Take Argenti, for example. Argenti's from his daily the armor GQ cleaning routine to his constant Ariel. grace. All of it stems from his pursuit of the beauty. Elegance is Argenti's middle name and even manifests itself in his combat. Argenti's basic attack, Fleeting Fragrance, can deal physical damage to a single target. His skill, Justice Hereby Blooms, can deal physical damage to all enemies. Nice! Man, I wish I looked that elegant in combat. Argenti's ultimate is pretty unique, triggering different effects depending on the amount of energy consumed. Uh -huh. Such is the manifold beauty of Adrilla. When consuming a small amount of energy, Argenti's ultimate, for in this garden supreme beauty bestows, can deal damage to all enemies. When consuming all energy, Argenti's ultimate becomes merit bestowed in my garden, which deals greater damage. It also inflicts additional damage on a random target. Huh? So you can choose how much energy to release? Mm, that's it's not like all. Our that hung talent, ill, but energy. Sublime object can allow our genti to regenerate additional energy and obtain a stack of self-cultivation. Self-cultivation can increase our genti's crit rate. Oh, so the mm. more self-cultivation, the fiercer his attacks. Or uh, to, to, to put it another way, our genti needs to attack as many enemies as possible. The greater the number of enemies, the faster his energy regeneration, and the stronger his combat. Exactly! Stronger combat, faster energy regeneration, more enemies to attack. Argenti giving erudition vibes. I'm here for it. Give it. <laughs> Argenti's technique, yes. manifesto of purest virtue, can daze enemies within a set range. 
Dazed enemies are unable to launch attacks. Attacking a dazed enemy to enter combat Ooh. not only deals damage to all he enemies, dazes them. but also regenerates Argenti's energy. With Ooh. his beauty. <laughs> Argenti is kind of handsome. I'm feeling a little dazed Whoa. myself. <laughs> wait, is it over? Wait, it's over. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, <laughs> they okay. They say looks can kill. That's true, that our Genti fans are in for a fatal surprise in version 1.5. In Night of Universal Hallucinations, Trailblazers will encounter our Genti en route to a washtopia. Dude, it's like lagging. It's why? Why are you lagging? Bro, it's Wait a, a second, a wash of what now? I shower every day. Slow down there, Trailblazer. Have you never asked yourself how the Astral Express stays so clean and shiny? Uh, because Pom Pom's always cleaning up after us? <sighs> it's because the train stops at Wastopia's along its journey. Got you, Mods. Wastopia's specialize Got in it. cleaning interstellar craft. You know, there are all kinds of fast acting, lemon scented, antibacterial. We're getting off topic! All you need to know is that the encounter with Argenti is one of excitement and wonder. <laughs> and a little bird tells me he's set for a showdown with the entire crew. What? I don't get it. Why are we always either in a fight or on the way to one? A fight, you say? Argenti's just dazing <laughs> everyone, too man. He's to too beautiful. What you meant to say was a chivalrous display of gentlemanly fortitude. <laughs> anyway. Argenti only challenges those who he deeply respects. Ah, you mean that the illustrious galactic baseballer's reputation doth precede one? Oh, uh, sure. Anyway, with the Kalis worked blessing, on that accent. Let's move straight on to the version 1.5 warp events. Ah, uh, finally! First off, during the first phase of version okay. 1.5 in the character event warp, Bloom and Gloom, Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star character Huahua. Yours, my favorite scary yes. cat trainee judge. During She's the second cute. phase of version 1.5, we'll be welcoming two character event warps in Thorns of Scented Crown. Trailblazers can obtain it's the, the limited five-star character Argenti. Ah, our knight in shining armor. Hanya and Argenti. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Contract Zero, Ooh, the nice. familiar face of Silver Wolf will be joining the warp. Not to mention the Silver four star Wolf character Hanya, who will be appearing in both the aforementioned second phase character event warps. Ah, long time no see, Silver Wolf. <laughs> uh, I wonder if her game accounts and are And Lynx gets better. to run you again wanna already. Ask her the next time you see her? You first. <laughs> now, it's time to take a look at version 1.5's light cones. All right. In the first phase of version 1.5, the drop rate for the five star light cone, <laughs> Night of Fright. He's holding a box cutter. <laughs> While in the second phase of version 1.5, the five-star light cone, an instance before gaze, will enter the light cone event warp. At the same time, the drop rate for the five-star light is. cone, incessant rain, will be boosted. All aboard! <laughs> the train is about to make the jump, and here's some other cool stuff. Starting from 1.5 within the team selection and character ascension screens, Every character will have brand new voice lines. This is a different kind of arena. Oh! Loaded again. Is that good or bad? Ah, is that cool? Who's essential? All right. Ah, Additional so voice cute. lines. Very nice. Uh, wait. If a character's already fully ascended, can we still hear their line? We got to cover it. All audio lines get saved in the index. You can listen back at any time. Cool. Here's something else. In version 1.5, we'll also be seeing a guest book feature update. <gasps> if Trailblazers are ever curious to check which friends have visited like the that. Express, the guest book has a record and message from each visit. That's cute. <laughs> Such a neat idea. Additionally, the Forgotten Hall will also be receiving updates in 1.5. Mm -hmm. First up, in Forgotten Hall Combat, Trailblazers can now choose to re-challenge. Re-challenge? It's like this. If things aren't going too smooth when challenging a certain stage, Trailblazers can choose to return to the Forgotten Hall map and restart the challenge. Oh, when nice. When re-challenging, previously used technique points are replenished. Okay, very good. A chance good. to replan your main technique strategy, <laughs> Very perhaps. good quality of life. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, stopping and restarting a challenge in the second half of a stage 
doesn't mean you have to redo the first half. Whew, that is a relief. And when entering the Forgotten Hall, oh. your combat lineup for each stage is okay. now remembered. Regardless of whether you met with victory or defeat, Scarlet Bis could never will be waiting for you on the preparation screen. No need for manual selection. Now that's my kind of nice. Game. Can't uh, wait for Trailblazers to give it all a spin. The Forgotten Hall is an important system within the game. Updates will continue to be rolled out, so stay tuned cool. for future versions. Well, looks like it's time for our final redemption code. See you on the other side, Trailblazers. Okay, chat. I think that's it for the special program of Honkai Star Rail. I'll be surprised if there's still something after that. I genuinely think that they put the banner info at the end so that, you know, we would like keep watching all the way towards the end because that's like one of the most anticipated announcements. Um, I'm just gonna wait and see. We still have five minutes before the Genshin program starts. So I'm just gonna stay here for a couple minutes. See if anything pops up. Make sure I don't miss anything. Grab your redemption codes, everyone. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will have the redemption codes in the pinned comment below. If you're watching this on YouTube, hi. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you are looking forward to in this version or who you're pulling for in this version. I think that uh, our Jedi is going to be very interesting. <laughs> hey folks, I'm back. <laughs> Me too. Me three. <laughs> Good to see you again, Trailblazers. You're just in time to help us wrap up version 1.5 special program. Aw, uh, is it that time already? I was just getting started. Be my guest, Trailblazer. This owl is ready to flap. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting something, Albert? I'm pretty sure you didn't mention the thing. Thing? What thing? <gasps> the thing. The that thing. thing? Winky, winky. They're gonna drop a bomb. Oh. How could I forget? In version 1.5, Trailblazers <laughs> can get their hands on 10 warps through the check in event. Nice. There it is. <laughs> Heck yeah. Gotta love a check in event. <laughs> and that's not the only thing to love in version 1.5. Anything in today's IPM programs tickle your fancy, guys? You had me at Ghost Hunting Squad. I am so ready for a spooky stream. <laughs> Sign me up. As for me, it was all about those unique characters. Huo Huo's tail backstory, Hanya's Ten Lords expertise, and Argenti's mysterious search for the beauty. <laughs> Can't wait to see them in person. Couldn't have put it better myself. <laughs> and with that, Trailblazers, I bid you a peaceful onward journey. <laughs> Thank you for supporting the IBM. See you in the next one. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Albert. Trailblaze you later. <laughs> All right. Wow, we did it. Thank you for joining us for this Star Rail special program reaction. Again, comment below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Take care.